Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. And I'm Chris Conley. Want to try your hand at city planning? Planning? I like planning. I plan stuff all the time. Every Friday at 10 o'clock I ride the miniature train at Forest Park. No, city planning. It's very important. Sounds pretty boring to me. It's dull! 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 My God, it's dull! It's so desperately dull and tedious and stuffy and boring and desperately dull! If you want to know the truth, city planning is not dull. It's actually pretty fascinating. Well, thanks to our city planners, Fort Worth has a quality of life that's second to none. Well, do we have loud steel mills next to quiet homes? Do we have liquor stores next to a school? No. And it's all because of the planning that goes into Fort Worth's comprehensive plan. This plan guides budget priorities, capital improvements, and future land use decisions. But the comprehensive plan is nothing without the input from citizens. Can we tell those planners I want more food trucks? Possibly. What about more Dutches and less In-N-Out burgers? I don't know, but residents can request a presentation for their groups through November when the citizen feedback will be compiled for city council review. To schedule a meeting for your group, call 817-392-8000. Okay, that does sound pretty cool. And you want to know what's really cool? Fort Worth's Trinity River Vision. That's what. City Council just got a briefing on the latest developments in this major game-changing project that will change the face and landscape of the old area north of downtown. If you've been under a rock and haven't heard, the Trinity River Vision is a master plan to add additional flood protection for our central city. The addition of a river bypass channel and floodgates will allow those old levees to be removed. Once that happens, we'll have new opportunities to reconnect with the river. It's so exciting! And the first step is building three new bridges to span the bypass channel. And they look pretty cool. Construction on the bridges begins in 2013, and we can't wait. Find out more at trinityrivervision.org. Okay, for those who like it, there's another 5K run coming up on September 5th. Next story. Wait, that's really not enough information at all. No one is going to make you participate in the run. Let's just give a few more details. At 7 a.m. on Labor Day, the runners will meet at Montgomery Plaza on 7th Street. With the shot of the starting pistol, the race will be on for either a 5-kilometer or 15-kilometer run. Find more information at www.fwrunners.org. Happy now? Much better. I signed this up, by the way. Nice. Kilometers. <laughs> Metric system. On a serious note, there's something really important we need to tell you. Starting August 29th, Fort Worth will be enforcing additional water restrictions thanks to the drought that's contributing to low water levels at the lakes we use to supply our homes and businesses. Uh, -huh. does that mean I gotta put away my slip and slide? Well, yeah, but more specifically, it means if your home address ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero, you can only water the lawn on Wednesdays and Saturdays. If your home address ends in odd numbers, you may only water on Thursdays and Sundays. And what about businesses? Will they be participating as well? Yep, they sure will. Non-residential locations like apartments and businesses may only water on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can find the complete list of Stage 1 water restrictions on the city's website. That's it for this edition of the Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. But the comprehensive plan is nothing without the input from... Ah! Yeah! <laughs> I was two words away! I know it! And I was doing so good! It was good. Uh, I psyched myself out. I was like, dang, I'm doing good. <laughs> You're like, oh, I got this. I got it. I'm almost at the end. That's a period. <laughs>